Now, we'll practice finding the focus. Before we look at the information in the body of the article, though, it can be helpful to skim the abstract. And notice my emphasis on skim. You don't need to read for each detail as much as get a general idea of what the article is about. The formatting of the Journal of Research and Personality helps make it easier to find the focus. It includes the heading Overview and Predictions on page 153 of the article, which is page 4 of the PDF file. Burton and King provide both a goal and a hypothesis, signaled by the phrase, we predicted that. The goal is more broad than the hypothesis, but they both reference three variables. I highlighted them in different colors in this slide to help identify them and point out that they appear in both places. Positive writing, operationalized as writing about intensively positive experiences, which we learned the abbreviation for in the abstract, mood, operationalized in terms of positive mood after writing, and physical health, operationalized in terms of the number of health center visits over time. Your article summar summary worksheet can summarize the goal and hypothesis like the model in this slide. In this section, it's also okay to copy and paste from the article. So, I hope you've learned a few things so far. How the abstract can help, how knowing about APA style can help, and that you can skim rather than read, and that you don't need to read all of the introduction if you're looking for key words. You might be able to use those strategies to find the focus of the Hearst article pretty easily. It helps that they start the paragraph by saying the purpose and that it's on the first page. It can be helpful to continue to skim the introduction though, because sometimes the authors elaborate on their purpose later, like Hearst and colleagues do in the last paragraph of the introduction. The information in the last paragraph is a little more detailed, so that's the version I used in the notes in the worksheet. Notice that this article is a little different because it doesn't just highlight the topic they'll focus on, but also the method. They'll be looking at qualitative research, which we learned about in Chapter 1. Sometimes, the information for lo we're looking for seems a little hidden in the article. In those cases, it can be really helpful to have the electronic files. And all of the articles we'll use in this class are available electronically. But in some situations, we do still have to go to the library and make paper copies. That said, when we have the electronic version, we can use the find function in Acrobat Reader or in a web browser. In most software, holding down the control key on the keyboard and the F key at the same time opens the box to find text on the page of the document. If you're using an Apple computer, you'll use the command key anytime I mention control. That can be really helpful when we know the authors use certain keywords when writing about particular things. For example, when we're learning about the focus of the article, you can look for the words, hypothesis, predict, purpose, and or goal. Now, please pause the recording and practice what you've learned by finding the focus in the O'Hare and Chair article. Then start the recording to check your work. The formatting of the Journal of Human Behavior and the Social Environment also helps us find the focus by including the heading Purpose of the Study on page 32 of the article, or page 5 of the PDF file. In the case of this article, they provide two hypotheses, signaled by the phrase, Hypothesis for the current study are as follows. The wording of the hypothesis might have made it a little trickier to identify the variables, as they identify both the conceptual variable and the operationalization for substance abuse. That said, I hope you identified stress symptoms, substance abuse, and gender as the three areas of focus. Your article summary worksheet can summarize the hypothesis like the model in this slide. The numbers in brackets are the page numbers where I found the information. Sometimes it's helpful to have that if I want to go back and read more to check my notes. Examples not only provide practice, but they highlight that each article will be a little different. APA style helps us know where to look, and this unit mentioned a number of signal words to look for. If you're stuck, you can use a search function to look for keywords in the file. Sometimes, you might need to think about alternative words the authors might have used. If that doesn't work, read the first couple paragraphs of the discussion. Remember, APA style encourages authors to summarize the results in the context of the question or hypothesis. If you're still stuck, take a guess and come back to it after you finish the summary.